Hey guys, it's Darwin here with a first look and pre-review of the Nock Vecto water container. All right, so let me first start off by saying I was not paid to do this gear review and I am not sponsored by Knock in any way. I was just lucky enough to get a Vecto water container before it was released to take it out in the field, test it, and tell them what I thought of it. So I've had it for about three weeks. I've done a lot of hiking with it and a lot of testing and I thought I would share my initial thoughts and give you guys some of the specs on the Vecto. The Vecto is a two liter water bladder that has a zip top closure on one end and a regular 28 millimeter threaded water bottle on the other end. It's made of a really tough BPA free TPU plastic that actually kind of feels a little rubbery. So it's kind of stretchy, not like your typical Sawyer squeeze bags that come with the filter. The claimed weight of the Vecto is 2.8 ounces, but on my scale, it comes in at 2.6 ounces. They claim that the Vecto has a breaking point of 220 pounds, which means that technically you could fill it up with water, you could stand on it up to 220 pounds and it wouldn't break open. Now, I've never personally done this, but I have seen some videos and some pictures over on Knox website of them putting that to the test. And I gotta say, it's pretty incredible how tough this bag actually is. They won't be available till November, but you can pre-order them right now on Knox website. All right, so now that we've went over the specs on the Vecto bottle, let me tell you my initial thoughts of it. Why I really, really liked this right off the bat is because for years I've used a two liter platypus dirty bag, but I haven't really been using my gravity feed system anymore. Now, what I like about something like a platypus bag is it has that really big wide mouth to it so you can take it and you can dip it down in the water when you have kind of a shallow water source or something like a lake or a pond. Now the Vecto has a very similar opening on the top except for it has this sliding lock which makes sure that if you have it in your pack and it's full of water that it's not going to leak all over the place. Now one of the problems that I had with my platypus bag is I couldn't really fill it up with water put it in my pack for storage because just a little bit of pressure on the bag and it would pop open and get all my stuff wet. So how this works is it's actually a little bit of a fold over flap and then it just opens straight up just like that. That way you can dunk it down into the water and fill it all the way up just with a couple dunks. And then once you have it filled up, you just fold it over and you take the lock and you slide it on and it's good and locked in place. Now, unlike my platypus gravity feed bag, the one really cool feature of it is on the other side, it has that 28 millimeter screw top water bottle, which means that you can take a filter and thread it straight onto the bladder just like the Sawyer bags. And then you can either drink straight out of the Vecto or you can take it, turn it upside down and roll it down like a tube of toothpaste and squeeze the water right out. Now lately, as some of you might know, I've been doing a lot of hiking in the desert on the CDT and here on the Arizona Trail. And whenever you're out doing these types of trails, there are no real water sources where there is a trickle of water. Now, if I have some sort of a trickle of water coming out of a stream, I can take the Sawyer bag and take the little hole and hold it up and and fill my bag up. But out here in the desert, there are a lot of cattle tanks, ponds, and water sources like that to where that big mouth opening really comes into play. Now, the other thing that I've really noticed about using this bag is whenever I'm using a mini filter like the Sawyer Mini or the Hydro Blue Bursa Flow, it allows you to put more pressure whenever you're pushing the water out and actually makes the flow rate better, which is one of the reasons why I switched away from the minis years ago. This tends to help that problem quite a bit. So like I said, this is pretty much a pre-review of the Vecto bottle and I'll give you my final thoughts after I go out on the Arizona Trail for 10 days and really beat the hell out of this thing. But right now, I'm definitely thinking about taking this on my PCT through hike next year for water storage and just convenience. I really like this thing a lot. If you haven't had a chance yet, go over and check me out on Instagram. I've been posting a lot of new photos lately of some of the things that Snuggles and I have going on throughout the week, plus some pictures from some past hikes, plus a lot of pictures from the Arizona Trail because I'm hiking it like every single day. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and as always guys, thanks for watching.